Welcome back to Alano's Mysterious Place, where we unveil the secrets hidden in the shadows. Today, brace yourselves for a haunting narrative that will grip your imagination. Prepare for an expedition into the mysterious realms as we unfold whispers of the forgotten. Step into the shadows of an abandoned asylum, where the chilling echoes of tortured souls linger in the air. Meet Emily, a fragile spirit caught between the realms of the living and the dead, and Rachel, a nurse drawn into the haunting mysteries concealed within the grim halls. As the past unravels and spectral whispers intensify, they embark on a journey to uncover the asylum's darkest secrets. Join us on a spine-tingling tale of forgotten spirits seeking liberation, justice, and redemption in the face of unspeakable horrors. In the heart of the countryside stood an old, decaying asylum, its ominous silhouette, haunting the surrounding landscape. The building had long been abandoned, but its halls still echoed with the tormented cries of its past inhabitants. Among the countless lost souls, who had once resided within those walls, was a young girl named Emily. She had been admitted to the asylum, under mysterious circumstances her fragile mind shattered by some unseen force. With her pale complexion and hauntingly vacant eyes, Emily seemed like a mere ghostly figure, caught between the realms of the living and the dead. Emily's family had sought help for her affliction in vain, searching for a cure that seemed forever elusive. They placed their hopes in the hands of the asylum staff, desperate for a miracle. But little did they know that within those grim halls, a dark secret lay concealed. As the days turned into weeks, Emily's condition deteriorated. She became increasingly withdrawn, whispering to unseen entities that seemed to taunt and torment her. The staff attributed her behavior to her fragile mental state, dismissing her claims as mere delusions. Yet there was something unsettling about the asylum, an eerie presence that permeated every room. Nurses reported strange occurrences, whispers that lingered in the air, unexplained drafts, and inexplicable shadows that flitted across the walls. One fateful night, as the moon cast an ethereal glow upon the asylum, a nurse named Rachel was assigned to Emily's ward. She had heard the rumors of the asylum's haunted past, but dismissed them as idle gossip. However, as she stepped into Emily's room, a shiver ran down her spine. Rachel found Emily sitting on her bed, her eyes locked onto the far corner of the room. Trembling the nurse, asked Emily, Who are you talking to? Emily's voice, barely above a whisper, replied the girl with the sad eyes. She's trapped here, just like me. Rachel's heart skipped a beat, for she saw no one but Emily in the room. The nurse cautiously approached the corner, where Emily's gaze remained fixed. Suddenly, a chilling gust of wind swept through the room, blowing out the nearby candles. Rachel felt a presence, an overwhelming sorrow, that seemed to consume her very soul. Driven by curiosity and a desire to help Emily, Rachel delved into the asylum's dark history. She discovered a forgotten journal, hidden away in the depths of the asylum's archives, chronicling the tales of patients long gone. The journal revealed a heartbreaking truth. The asylum's founder, Dr. Jonathan Adler, had conducted cruel experiments on his patients, subjecting them to tortuous treatments. In the name of science, among them was a young girl named Elizabeth, whose spirit remained trapped within the asylum's walls. Rachel's heart sank as she read Elizabeth's story. She had become convinced that Emily was not merely delusional, but was, in fact, communicating with the tortured soul of Elizabeth. Rachel embarked on a mission to set Emily free from the clutches of the asylum and the vengeful spirit that haunted it. With the help of a local paranormal investigator, they conducted seances and performed ancient rituals, seeking to bring closure to Elizabeth's restless spirit. One fateful night, in the asylum's decrepit attic, Rachel and Emily confronted the tormented specter of Elizabeth. They pleaded with her, promising to reveal her tragic story to the world. 
exposing Dr. Adler's dark deeds, and ensuring justice for her and the countless others who had suffered under his care. As the first rays of dawn illuminated the attic, Elizabeth's ethereal form began to fade, her tormented expression replaced by a serene calm. With one final whisper, she thanked Rachel and Emily, and then vanished into the light. The asylum, once a place of despair and suffering, now stood as a testament to the darkness that had been banished. Emily's mind slowly mended, and she was finally able to leave the asylum and start anew. Rachel forever changed by the experience, dedicated her life to helping those tormented by ghosts. From the past, vowing to expose the truth and seek justice for the voiceless spirits. To this day, the whispers of Emily and Elizabeth can still be heard in the long, abandoned corridors of the asylum, a reminder of the horrors that were once concealed within its walls. Their story serves as a chilling reminder that some hauntings are not confined to the realms of fiction, but continue to linger, seeking liberation and redemption.